peaceful New Year's morning. Communing with our ancestors here on January 1, 2023. Heard something moving, moving around about here. Don't know what it was, and I never could see anything, but sure sounded like some footsteps earlier. I remind myself that this land is filled with the remains of what was life. Yeah, it was uh, reality. These people walked on or near this land. Some of these people here, I'm sure actually at some point stood and uh, and watched as others were interred here, as they say. Some of these old stones here are so old you can't read them. They say a hundred years from now, whatever. A hundred years from now, you and I will be part of this crew, right? That's it. It kind of balances it out. It kind of should help you to set your priorities a little bit better, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it put you in a position to make you think about what you're spending your time doing, your life? Are you living? Are you living? Are you just striving to get through another day. David George Mason, 1810 to 1891. If you go back in that time, you can put yourself in their place. They thought they were in the most modern society. They had it going on. The most advanced culture in the world back then. Yes, sir, they thought they had it going on. Here we are, carrying the same arrogance to our generations, to our time frame. Yeah, we got it going on. We got cars. In every advancement we make, there's the naysayers. Oh gosh, gasoline engine cars. <laughs> They're gonna have to put a gas station on every street corner. Yes, they did. You gotta change the oil, you gotta maintain this shit, tires. Oh yeah, people, people threw all those naysay things, it's like horses are a lot better. That's natural, horses are natural. We're gonna screw up the planet, yep. Same thing they're saying about electrical cars now, about battery cars, yeah, same exact thing. So here's Horace Ware Fence, 1864. He was an Eagle Scout. He founded Shelby Iron Works in the 1840s. Yeah, he buried his uh, infant daughter and his wife here. And that's what this is about right here. He's not buried here. And uh, my understanding is this fence here was his work. This is the remnant of Horace's life right here. This is the remnant of it, that's it. That's all that's left of Horace right here, and his wife, and his infant daughter. It's very real, and it's very much a very important part of our life. Death is just as real, and it's very much as much an important part of your life as birth is. I'm not saying that you necessarily have to celebrate death, but the, dealing with it in a very realistic way, what happens is, is that you begin to realize what you're struggling after, what's, what you're possessing, what you're accumulating in your life. You should balance it out. It's not about the stuff, folks. Remember that. 2023 is here. So 
think about it. Think about what you're spending your time. Think about what's important. Peace and love is important. The stuff, not so much. One day, in just a few short years, folks, this is where you'll be.